I am officially a Gymshark athlete. <laughs> so big. Not doing well this morning. I'm not ready. 9,953. Hello friends and welcome back to another vlog. It is Monday today and it's currently 5.30pm. I haven't picked up my camera today but I'm currently in my bedroom and having an afternoon smoothie because I'm a bit hungry and I will probably just have like a smaller dinner. But I thought that I would update you about my day, bring you back up to speed. I also feel very weird vlogging right now because if you watched my last week's vlog, I didn't vlog for like the second half of last week so I don't know. It feels weird. I feel a bit all over the place but also like I've had a really productive day today. It's never miss a Monday. So I actually went to the gym this morning at 5am which is not the usual thing <laughs> but my friend Beck and I decided to do the 5am group fitness class at our gym I think it's called strength and conditioning so it was like a mix between hit and weights and I really really enjoyed it and then Beck and I hung out for a bit we got a shake from the gym and then I dropped to the train station I came home I got straight into some computer work and I smashed out my weekly vlog emails things I need to send away for approval like I smashed out so much work I feel so good about then I had a shower I got ready I had to film a clip for my last weekly vlog I've kind of just been like all over the place but we got it all done and I'm feeling really good. I've pretty much spent the last three hours on the couch watching TV, which is <laughs> not what I should have done. But I was like, I'll just watch one episode while I finish off my lunch of this new show that I'm watching. And then I ended up just finishing the whole season. To be fair, I was halfway through the season. There was only six episodes. And I was like, I mean, like, it'd be silly to just leave two episodes. You know? If you haven't seen it already, there's this new show on Netflix called Winx. I'm pretty sure the something saga. It's actually based off a TV show that I used to watch when I was a kid about fairies. And I know it sounds so stupid. Like, I know you just heard me say a TV show about fairies and you were like, what the heck? But it's so good. I'm trying to think what it's similar to. Vampire Diaries, like legacies, originals, but like a bit more like childish than originals. I really thoroughly enjoyed it. Really sad there was only six episodes because I feel like there was just so much in every episode. My brother and I started watching it yesterday. Yesterday. So we watched the first two episodes together yesterday and then I watched the four today and now he's downstairs watching the last four as well. So I'm assuming he'll finish it today as well. Would recommend if you're bored and have nothing to watch. I made an afternoon smoothie. I've been obsessed. This is literally just banana, chocolate protein, milk and ice, but it's so yum. And I've already had one of these today and this is my second. I also have very ripe bananas I need to use up. Anyway, I'm really just ripped. But while I was on the couch, I got a Gymshark package and I love opening packages on camera. It makes it feel like I'm opening things with my friends. So I've saved it to open it with you. I do also have a Gymshark affiliate link that is always in my description box. So if you shop through that, that directly supports me and I really appreciate it. Ooh, these feel nice. Training leggings in black. Ooh, okay. Interesting. I really like the material of these. So they have a seam along the top, but then there's no front seam down the middle, which is nice. And I really like the logo on the back. I like the look of them. These, I'm not ready. I'm not, I'm not ready. <laughs> No way. These are the new colorway in the Vital Seamless shorts. And I have these shorts in gray and I wear them so often. I dead set need these in every color. I'm thinking of buying myself a pair in black because I feel like black is just like a staple. But look at that orange. They have a very subtle little differences. Like I think the waistband is a little bit thicker, but still really stretchy. And then just along the inside, there's like a bit of a thicker theme. Theme? Theme? Seam. Why did my brain just <laughs> stop working? I'm so excited about them though. They're so cute. Oh, I also got them in this like purpley, mauvey, grey colour. So nice. This waistband I think I'm going to really enjoy. <laughs> this is a Vital Seamless sports bra that isn't the same colour but it's the same range as these. Oh, it's a hoodie. Oh, it's a cropped hoodie. I love that. Oh, fleecy. Oh, that's really soft. That's really nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. That is so nice. But that is my package. I think my plan of attack is to edit. I want to finish my weekly vlog and then I can do the final touches and send it away for approval tomorrow. I might just check my emails, get a little bit of work done and then I want to try have an early night tonight because I had such an early morning this morning. I've been up since 4am. It's a little bit wild. I don't believe it myself. I'm actually feeling quite good considering how much sleep I got but I know that it's going to hit me. I kind of want to be in bed by like 8. <laughs> we'll see how we go. I'm watching Connor's vlog. I need to turn that off. It's not really a Monday night if I'm not watching Connor's vlog while cooking dinner, is it? I ended up getting getting a fair amount of editing done and then I jumped on a team coaching call with my PT and his clients. It was actually a really good call just chatting about like where everyone's mindset is and how everyone's feeling about like getting back on track and stuff after Christmas which um, if you watched my last vlog you would know. <laughs> 
that I'm like low-key struggling with that. So it's nice to A, hear that other people are in the same boat and B, be offered some advice and tips and know that there are people around me supporting me. And then quickly raced outside and went for a two kilometer walk. It was definitely dark, but I had to get my steps in. So I'm currently at 9,800, oh, 9,953. So I just have 1,050 steps to get, which I'm sure I will get just making dinner and getting ready for bed and stuff. But I'm making my dinner currently. There is so much going on all at once. I have my bowl. I don't know if you can see that. That's me squinting trying to see my bowl. Why do people drive down my street like that? Oh, it actually makes my blood boil. It makes me angry. Yum. That's actually going to be the best, I think. My bowl has sweet potato, capsicum, cucumber, and corn. Love corn. And then I've just left a big gap in the middle. I'm going to pop some rice in. I haven't had rice in a while because I've been trying to eat more like high volume, low calorie. And rice is obviously really high in carbs and cows. But I actually had room. I looked at my macros and I had like 50 grams of carbs left over. So I cooked up some rice, which is exciting. And then the other half of all the mints that I cooked for lunch that I just reheated. That looks like a lot. I don't think I halved it very evenly. I'm going to top it with parmesan. Only a little bit because I feel like parmesan you don't need a lot which is ideal and that's why i use it 10 grams of that on top i'm obsessed with this nando's peronese it's not too spicy because i'm a sook when it comes to spice and i feel like this is the perfect amount i also have a glass of pepsi max creaming soda and i'm gonna go finish watching connor's vlog and live my absolute best life catch you on the flip side Good morning friends, happy Tuesday. It's 20 past nine and I just got home from a PT session and it was honestly a very good session. I didn't pull my camera out until my very last set, which was silly of me because it, my form and everything just probably looked really bad. But we did a full session of deadlifts today and I haven't deadlifted in at least a couple of weeks. I remember being so long ago, but my PT didn't believe me. So I need to like get my facts right because last time I deadlifted, I ripped my hands to shred. And so we haven't deadlifted in a while. Okay. 8th of January. Okay, so that was one, two, two and a half weeks ago. And normally I was deadlifting at least once a week. Firstly, it felt very good to be deadlifting again. But secondly, I felt very weak and my hands can't handle it. They're just holes in my hand. And I have a rash on my edges of my hands from the straps. So we're doing really great. <laughs> my deadlift goal is currently 150 and I got a 145 sumo today, which is super good. I don't know if I fully logged down or not, so I don't know if it counts. Um, I think my PT recorded it, so I guess we'll find out but we did chuck 150 on the bar and we both knew that I wasn't going to get it fully up and like locked out but I think mentally we just wanted to know that I could get it off the ground and I feel like normally the hardest bit about deadlifts is actually like the bottom bit getting it off the ground whereas today every weight we tried up to 150 off the ground but once I got to like this is like a really bad like angle showing you how to do it but like once I got to here I couldn't lock my shoulders out properly and it was so frustrating I think it's because my upper back was sore from yesterday i did a hit class at the gym yesterday and we were doing like wall balls i think like that would have hurt my upper back and we were doing rowing as well so like i think that is why my upper back is sore and i'm gonna use that as an excuse as to why i couldn't look out the rest of my pt session we were kind of just chatting about goals and what's realistic and where i want to be and i'm not huge on setting goals because i get really fixated on them and i get really restrictive and like fixated on these goals which i 
feel like if you do that in a healthy way, that's really good. But I just get really scared that if I set a goal, I'm going to get really fixated on it and I'm not going to be able to enjoy my life, if that makes sense. But this morning, it was just nice to like talk to obviously like a professional and he was like, this is what is going to get you results. And so we've written out like pretty much a game plan. I've got a goal that I want to hit by the end of Feb. I think that's doable. It's only like five weeks. So like really, really doable. I just have to knuckle down and start working really hard. And honestly, after that chat with him, I feel like I'm ready. Like he knew that I was capable, which gives me like a little bit of hope. <laughs> Even him knowing that's my goal by the end of Feb, if I don't hit that, he's going to be asking why. And if I don't hit that goal, it's because I didn't put in the work. So it's really all up to me. But having that source of one, encouragement and B, accountability from my PT, I think that's what's going to get me there. So yeah, I'm feeling really like... <sighs> This is the start and I'm ready. But as I said, it's 9.30 and I haven't eaten anything today. I've only had my pre-workout. So I'm a bit like, eee. I'm gonna make a smoothie for breakfast. I'm literally just gonna have banana, chocolate protein, milk, ice, maybe a bit of honey. And I'm gonna drink that. I'm gonna do a little bit of work. And then once my brother has finished the last episode of that Winx show I was telling you about yesterday, then him and I are gonna go on a walk. Honestly, just gonna have to ignore how I look right now. I'm in an oversized men's t-shirt. I haven't brushed my hair today, <laughs> but I think this is just the reality of my day today. Happy Wednesday. It is currently 9.20 a.m. And I had every intention of going to the gym this morning and I was gonna do a 5 a.m. strength and conditioning class at my gym with one of my friends. I woke up to my 4.15 alarm this morning and I stepped out of bed and my back is in so much pain from deadlifting yesterday. Like the first thing that in my head I was like oh my goodness like I have to decide whether it's better for me to rest or to like push through and then I went to turn my alarm off and the friend I was going to the gym with messaged me and she was like hey like I've woken up with a really sore back I don't think I should do the class this morning and I was like oh my gosh me too kind of great that we were like both feeling the same but like also not great at all <laughs> but then I turned my lights off turned my alarms off and went straight back to bed and I woke up at 7 30 I never sleep in till 7.30 and I'm so amazed because I always want to sleep in till 7.30 but my body never lets me. My body will always make me up at like 6 or 6.30 so I feel very well rested. I also woke up with my period this morning so we're really just completely thriving. My back is always sore when I have my period. I just always get lower back pain but that's just intensified after uh, hitting a new deadlift PB yesterday. So we're just not doing well this morning. Um in all aspects, which is really sad because I decided to do the 5 a.m. class this morning because I knew it was gonna set me up to have a really productive day because I have so much to do. And now I just feel like lying in bed all day. And that's not the vibe. <laughs> but anyway, I managed to drag myself out of bed at like 10 past nine. I just went and I made a smoothie for breakfast. This is literally the most boring smoothie ever, but it just tastes so good. I sprinkled some moon milk on top because Sophie did this and I'm obsessed with everything Sophie does. Speaking of Sophie, I have her weekly vlog on my TV. I I've brought my laptop downstairs and I'm just gonna sit on the couch, drink my breakfast and just chill out while I work. I need to finish editing my weekly vlog from last week so I can send it off for approval. Like I've been really slack this week and I just don't really know why. I'm gonna go get some work done and hopefully we can still have a really productive day today. I also got emails this morning saying I'm two gym type packages coming today. So that's incredible. Anyway, I'll talk to you later. Hi. <laughs> I haven't moved all morning. Whoa. Whoa. If you wear glasses, do you have to take them off and just like honestly want to cry at how blind you are? Like I just am shocked every time at how bad my eyesight is when I take my glasses off. Anyway, I'm upset about it. I was literally lying here on the couch. I'm in an oversized t-shirt, as I said. Lying on the couch in the most like unflattering way. I had the blinds open and a delivery man came and dropped off a package and <sighs> he didn't knock or anything. He just like left at my door which is great but like he would have seen me and I literally look like <laughs> it was so bad anyway um it doesn't say who it's from I'm confused oh Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Okay, so Steph and Daisy from Better Being has sent me a box of goodies. Oh my gosh. Oh, stop! 
stop. This is her cute. I feel like they'll be watching this video. So if you are, hey, I appreciate you so much. Wait, this is so generous. I love strawberries and cream. It's a bag. I love tote bags. Okay, 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 okay. Ooh, ooh. Ooh. Okay, this is the sneaky Whole Foods Better Being Blend Salted Banana Caramel. Do it yourself snack mix. I love that. I wonder if this is on my fitness pal. It is. Oh, appreciate that. Okay, and this is their new release. So they partnered up with Naked Harvest, which you guys know I am obsessed with Naked Harvest. And they came out with a Better Being Bar Strawberry White Chocolate Blondie. So they used Naked Harvest strawberries and cream protein powder and that is one of the ingredients in this bar which is so fun they also sent over some caramel macchiato cacao bars as well that sounds incredible like coffee and caramel in a protein bar absolutely and then they also sent over two of the vanilla cookie dough chop chip bars this smells like something really specific i've had in my childhood before i have no idea Okay, why is this so yum? I'm just gonna devour this so quick. So these are plant-based, gluten-free, and high protein. So good. Steph and Daisy, if you're watching this, I wanna say thank you so incredibly much. And congratulations on your new product launch. So happy for you. And you said that this has been such a long time in the making. So I hope that everything is going so smoothly and it's everything that you hope for and more. That bar was so good. Someone's gonna have to stop me from eating that whole box today. Anyway, I'm gonna get back to doing some work on my computer. I've just been watching literally all of my friends' weekly vlogs. I'm also making a vision board on my laptop. I've been pinning all these photos and I'm gonna make a collage, I think on Canva. And then I'm gonna set it as my laptop background. And I think I wanna make one for my phone as well. So that's really fun. It's not me working at all, um, but it's fun. lighting looks so bad but I don't know where the sun is. <laughs> Good morning friends, happy Thursday. I'm just currently out on a morning walk. It is currently almost 8am. I had another sleep in this morning because I'm still feeling really like sluggish and heavy and gross but I managed to somehow get my steps in yesterday. It was 6pm and I had 10,000 steps to hit but I got it done. <laughs> so this morning I'm just trying to be a little bit more proactive. Got out of bed and I'm just going on a 3 kilometer walk. So I just walked 1.5 kilometers and I've just turned around and then I'm going to walk back. My arm hurts all already so i'll have a 3k walk under my belt hopefully just throughout the day i can get the rest of my steps in and then whatever i need at the end of the day i can just go on a quick afternoon walk then i do have a fair amount of things and work that i would like to get done today a little bit of editing a couple of emails i have a couple of errands to run and just some things around the house that i want to do and then i think tonight i'm gonna try have like a self-care night it is actually really muggy and it's only 8 a.m like it's only gonna get worse i'm gonna walk home have some breakfast and get stuck into my big list of things to get done today. in a hot minute is currently 10 past 3 p.m. I am sitting in a car park and cars are driving past me talking to myself. I'm just out running a couple of errands. Honestly, I haven't had the best day today. I don't know why. It's just kind of just been like this all week. I think it's just because it's that time of the month and my emotions are just all over the place. I just have no energy. I don't want to do anything. I get really emotional every now and then and I'm just over it if I'm honest. I'm trying to make the most of my day though. I got lots of computer work done and then I just have a list of my phone of things that I wanted to do this afternoon. So I went to Lifeline and I dropped off my donation bags. I just went into Rebel Sport and I bought some lifting straps. I have bought straps in the past. I don't know how to explain them, but they're just not what I was really after. But when I bought them, I was just like, oh yeah, they'll do. But I think because I'm so used to the ones that my PT uses, I didn't like using different. So I got these figure eight lifting straps by Celsius. I don't know if this was the best brand. I'm pretty sure this is like a cheaper brand. Oh, someone's parking next to me. It's fine. This is my job. He can look at me. Do I pretend I'm on the phone? Whoa, what? that is huge once they get a bit more bendy i think they'll be fine but they're just like a figure eight so i can put my hand through and either wrap that around the bar and hold it like that or i can put my hand through both and have the bar in here because these calluses are not a vibe they still sting and 
I'm in so much pain and I'm sick of it. So, straps it is. I think these were $20. For the rest of my list, I have get my nails taken off, but I honestly just can't be bothered. I don't want to. I should though. These are my nails at the moment really disgusting so because i just showed you i'm gonna go get them taken off and then after that i'm gonna go to my parents house and i don't know if you can tell but i have a plant in my passenger seat that's my happy plant hector he hasn't been doing very well for quite a while and i slightly mentioned it to my dad who worked in a plant nursery for 27 years so he's very passionate um and he told me to drop him at my parents house so dad can revive him so He's my car passenger for today. Look, he's really seen better days, but I also feel like he's been on the brink of dying for the longest time, and he's still kicking, so like, go Hector. After I go to my mum and dad's, I'm gonna go to Coles or Woolies, I don't really know which one yet, and go grocery shopping. Also, I love this Naked Harvest water bottle because it fits in my cup holder. Absolutely incredible. Anyway, I'm really just procrastinating going and getting my nails taken off. Hello friends, happy Friday. It's currently 2 p.m. and this is the first time I'm picking up my camera today. It's honestly just been a go, go, go morning, which has been really good, but, I just did a massive grocery shop and I thought that I'd give you a quick haul. I'm kind of sick of doing grocery hauls where I just like stand and I like hold up each product. So I'm just going to pan over everything that I got, not go into too much depth. But feel free to let me know down below if you'd prefer like a, I bought this because of this or me just going through everything really quickly and just like a pan over. Because I personally don't like watching grocery hauls, but I know that so many people do. So I just want to give the people what they want, you know. Um, but here's my huge grocery haul. Who is messaging me? It's Gemma. Illy Gemma. Okay, so this is my <laughs> pan over. It's so big. I also went in hungry, which is, you never you never go in hungry, but I just, I had no time. Also, look at my hands. Ugh, gross. Okay, I'm so hungry, so I want to speed through this so I can cook some lunch. In this corner, I have three of these pancake mixes because they're my favorite and they're on sale. So I got three. Excessive, I know. I got a packet of the Table Plenty mini rice cakes. These are so yum. Um, and I also got this box of Fiber One chocolate fudge brownies. These are 90 cows. I've heard so much about them and I'm really excited. I got so hungry that I ate one on the way home and it was really good. Kind of small, but really good. I also got two big bags of oats because I'm out. I got a body moisturizer, really fun, exciting stuff. I got some diced beetroot, some corn, some diced tomatoes and some mustard. One of my friends, Cassidy, recommended this in one of her videos. I honestly don't know if I'll like it, but she convinced me. So I picked up that. I got also got this salted caramel topping. Whoa, really almost dropped that. That's the macros. Pretty self-explanatory, like absolutely incredible. So we'll see how that goes. I got some tomatoes, some strawberries, iceberg lettuce, continental cucumber, grapes for me to freeze. I got two of these Jabani fruit yogurt. I had one of these last week and they're so yum. Like, I don't know what is even in the little like mixture thing that you tip into the yogurt, but it's so good. So I got two of those and then I got a couple of Yopros as well. One vanilla, one mango. I got some bananas. Can we just take a second to admire how huge these bananas are? What the heck? I also got some pumpkin, some burger thins, some lower carb wraps, but just by the Woolworths brand. I got some butter, eggs, rainbow paddle pops, of course. I got some egg whites, some nectarines, and then I just have a pile of meat. So I have some chicken mints, turkey mints, and then just chicken breast as well. So that is my huge grocery haul. I'm about to spend pretty much a couple of hours in the kitchen, just cooking lunch, prepping my food, putting things in containers, just getting myself organized because if you fail to plan, you plan to fail. But um, I have a few friends who've sent me some videos of them chatting, and I'm um, just gonna listen to that while I cook all my food. I finally just finished up in the kitchen. Wow, it is currently 4.50. Oh, but my fridge is looking very good, very full, very prepared, which makes me feel really, really good. The last thing I have to do is just take my pumpkin out of the air fryer. I'm just roasting it in there. And I have two packages to open. I feel like all I've done this week is gym and open packages, but I'm very excited nonetheless. Firstly, this is so exciting. I'm gonna need scissors and I just sat down. Maybe my laptop charger jazz hand or makeup by jazz or jazz fitspo however you know her online oh she offered to send me some pieces from jazz handmade which is so sweet of her oh my gosh she also gave me a discount code so georgia 10 will save you 10 percent off jazz handmade and i'll have it linked down below as well this vlog isn't sponsored this is just gifted but i just want to support a fellow internet gal oh my 
gosh. These are beautiful. She asked me if I wanted anything in particular and I just said that she could choose things and I just said I liked dainty. And holy moly, has she nailed dainty on its head. Wow! And this is what's in my box. A little angel necklace. And then two tiny little dainty earrings as well. That necklace is far too cute. <gasps> Wait, there's more! <laughs> no way. Okay, this is too much. Stop it. I feel like it's so hard to see on camera. Look at that little angel. But that is too cute. And then these two little earrings. Oh my gosh. I don't know if Jazz is going to be watching this, but if you are, thank you so incredibly much. And a second package I have here is from Gymshark. Big surprise. I know that I started this vlog opening a package from Gymshark, but that package was like part of this package that just got shipped separately. It's huge, like this is the size of me. Are you kidding me? I actually realized that by the time this vlog goes live, I would have announced it by now, but I am actually, officially <laughs> a Gymshark athlete. <laughs> I... <laughs> I'm uncomfortable. I'm so excited and so honored and I have so many like thoughts and feelings about it and I just genuinely can't believe that such a huge company believes in me. Like I'm so little and I have such a little corner on the internet but they like see potential in me. Like that just, it. I just, it blows my mind. I'm so stinking excited to see what the future holds. I feel like this is really just the start. I'm just so honored and love everything that Gymshark stands for and like clothes, activewear aside, everything that they stand for, I'm completely here for it. Oh, I'm still in shock, honestly. I'm so nervous to see everyone's reaction. I feel like a lot of people might not know what an athlete even is or like what it means, but it just means that I am fully aligned with the Gymshark brand and I'm exclusive to Gymshark now, which just makes me so excited. And I feel like this is gonna unlock so many incredible opportunities for me and I'm just so excited. I also have an affiliate link with Gymshark. So if you shop through that link, that does support me directly. So I'll have that in my description box. It's always there. And if you shop through that, I really appreciate it. But anyway, speaking of Gymshark, this huge package is a bunch of their new February releases, which I'm so excited about. The release date for these is to be announced. So as soon as I know, I'll be sure to let you know, most likely on Instagram. So if you're not following me on Instagram, already you should. Whoa, this is huge. As always, I'm just gonna pull out whatever I see. Oh, yes, okay, okay, yes, yes, yes. Yes, absolutely. You guys know that I love their camo print. I wear it in green and black constantly. I'm wearing the purple animal print today. I think it's my favorite collection from Gymshark. So they brought it out in like a cheetah pattern. Oh, did you look at that? I just pulled out the matching tights. That's incredible. Are you kidding? I'm so pumped to have another pattern in my collection. What is, what is this? Oh, 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 oh my gosh, Gymshark is honestly too good. They've come out with some swimwear. How good. I got this one piece in this beautiful pink coral color. Can we just take a second for the back of it? Are you kidding? Removable padding as well. I appreciate that. Ooh, I like the look of the fit of these. They're very flowy. They just have the one lining. The waistband feels really nice. And it has like that lining of, I don't know what that's called, like the sticky stuff that like, so it sticks to you and doesn't fall down. Gymshark's ombre. Absolutely. Ah, oh, I'm not ready. I'm not ready. <laughs> More Vital Seamless shorts. So in on Monday, when I opened the original package, I showed you the yellow and like the purpley color. They're also come out with this beautiful blue color are you kidding me i think vital seamless and adapt animal camo adapt anything are my favorite ranges this is so comfortable but very functional like very easy to train in while being super comfortable which i feel like it's rare to find both of them in one pair of tights or shorts Ooh, fun a little tank that is such a bright blue and these are the vital seamless leggings to match the shorts i don't know if you able to tell on camera but there's like dotting down the side under the bum so flattering especially for the full length leggings oh that is perfect absolutely just a classic staple I love that. Yes. Oh my gosh. Yes, 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 yes. This is one of my favorite tees from Gymshark. It's their fraction tee. I'm pretty sure I have it in black and blue. And then I saw it in white and I was like, 
Are you kidding? Yes, yes, yes. That's going to get so dirty, so sweaty, but I'm here for it. That's going to go with absolutely anything. Yellow shorts? No problem. Blue shorts? No problem. Purple shorts? No problem. These are the same shorts in purple, but in red. That is such a nice color. Ooh, I got the Vital Seamless long sleeve in the blue to match the shorts and the tights because I'm excessive. So stretchy, so soft. Ooh, I think this is more swimmers. That's beautiful. Wow, I feel like it's hard to see it's black and I'm wearing black. It's a one piece with a deep V, a little hole in the middle. The back, very low back, two long straps again got the little Gymshark tag. I'm actually so keen to have some more swims in my collection. Oh, cute. Whoa, that is long. I love the color of this. Just a classic singlet. I saw Georgie Stevenson wear this on her Instagram story this morning. And I was like, I hope I chose that. <laughs> Look how cute. Looks like the perfect crop length. Again, white. You really can't go wrong. And the whole back of it is mesh. Very nice because I'm a sweaty, sweaty gal. <laughs> Another fraction tee in this minty green. I love the fraction action tea. Oh. Is four too many of the same shirt to own? Asking for a friend. This is their Adapt Marl that's just come out in a slightly different purple. I'm actually wearing the old one of this right now. I don't know if this is weird, but that's the color difference between them all. So this is a much more like muted, like more, more of a gray purple. Honestly, these sports bras are one of my favorites. I love that they're double lined and I love the little logo on the side. So I'm so excited to have this in another color. This also pairs really well with the Adapt Animal print. My favorite. Oh, that is so cute. That's the same sports bra, but in like a peachy, corally color. I honestly wish that these sports bras came in like 20 different colors because I would have them all because they're my favorite. Okay, this is the Vital Seamless sports bra to match these Vital Seamless shorts. What a combo. The Vital Seamless sports bra in yellow. I am obsessed with this color. It's too good. Okay, we're getting to the last few things, I promise. Got this sports bra. It's got a little bit of mesh along the top and then has a bit of a racer back, some adjustable straps, a little like bra clasp hook down the bottom. This doesn't have removable padding so I feel like if you're after like heaps of coverage and lots of support this is probably a sports bra to go with. Oh and that same like beigey singlet I showed before but in white as well. I love crewnecks. I look so good showing you this right now. You're kidding me. It's like a not like a towel -y material but like not fluffy. I love that. And lastly, I think this is a hoodie. It's huge! <laughs> and look at this colour. Love a good hoodie in the middle of summer. Thank you so much, Gymshark, as always. Blown away by your love and generosity. So grateful. I'm going to post a couple of Instagram stories because I'm excited and then get on with my day. I honestly have no idea what I'm going to do for the rest of the day. I have some editing I can do. I want to tan tonight. That's pretty much the plan. Whoa, it's sunny. Good morning, friends. It is Saturday and I'm leaving the house doing something fun with some friends. How exciting. I'm here with Rachel. Long time no see. Ex-housemate like Hanks. We're going out. I'm so sorry about this lighting and probably the wind. But we're going out for breakfast with Georgia Kate and Millie Winterbank. So excited. Haven't seen Georgia in a bit. And then I haven't seen Millie, like, I think in, like, almost a year. So very excited. I'm so sorry about the lighting and I haven't talked to you in so long. I've honestly been a mess, like such a flop. And I feel like I've been saying that all week, but a couple of things that happened today. You would have seen I went out for breakfast with the girls and then I went and I ran a few errands. So with my brother and his girlfriend, we went to JB Hi-Fi and I bought a microwave because the microwave that was at my house was Rachel's. And when she moved back home, she was like, oh, you may as well just keep it there until I need it, which was really helpful and very nice of her. But now she's obviously got a house of her own and needed a microwave. So a bit rough. I honestly had no idea how expensive microwave waves could get but I think I'm happy with my choice I haven't unboxed it yet it's just sitting on my kitchen bench because I don't have the energy for it but also while I was in JB Hi-Fi I bought a new camera which you would have seen me unbox before filming this clip I was like okay so like these are the all the 10 reasons why I bought a new camera but like I don't want to have to sit here and like justify myself this is my job and it makes sense to invest in good quality equipment that is going to improve my videos make my life a little
little bit easier and just make everything a little bit better. I've been needing a new camera for ages and so I'm really happy with this investment. It's definitely going to take a little bit getting used to because the screen flips to the side where my old camera the screen flipped up. So please bear with me if you see me looking off to the side heaps. I'm definitely going to be working on that. Um, I feel like it might even be easier for me to film it like without the screen even flipped around. And now the battery is flashing dead. <laughs> I don't know how long that battery flashing is going to last, so I'm just going to keep talking. I was going to film my whole workout tonight. Sad. I should have brought my other camera. I should have charged this one. I'm This week and last week have just drove. I don't know what's going on. Like, I'm literally a disaster. I have no motivation, and then all of a sudden, before I go to bed, I just can't sleep because I'm so stressed about all the stuff I didn't get done during the day, and then I stay up late doing it, and then I just get up early the next day and still have a really product unproductive day. Like, I just don't know what's going on, but I'm just trying my best to rest and trying to also work hard at the same time. So it's 7.56 on a Saturday night, and I'm at the gym. <laughs> I'm just eating one of Steph McDonald's Better Being Bars, the strawberry white chocolate. Did you see how well that camera just focused? Um, just because I needed a little bit of some substance before I go into the gym. I didn't want to have any pre because it's 8 p.m. I'm gonna go train some glutes. I'm honestly just like wanting to get in there, get sweaty, get a couple of my last steps in for the day, and then go home, microwave dinner, and go to bed. Anyway, I'm gonna go. I love you, and I will probably chat to you sometime tomorrow. <laughs> It is currently quarter past 10 a.m. And as you would have seen this morning, I got out and headed straight to the gym and trained with my friend Grace, which was so good. I haven't seen Grace in like two weeks, I think since the wedding, which hurts my heart. I normally train with her like pretty much every other day, but she's been on prac for uni at the moment. So her schedule's kind of all over the place. Very, very busy. So good to train with her this morning. Like, oh, she's really too good. I don't deserve her. And my sessions with her are always the best. So we have quads this morning because I did glutes last night so my legs are just cooked like absolutely cooked I was trying to like change gears and every time my left foot was on the clutch it was like the whole leg my whole leg was just shaking it was a bit intense but we decided that we weren't sick of each other so we've decided to come and get breakfast together which is very fun I'm gonna go get an acai bowl she's gone home to grab her dog little Arlo Grace and I are gonna go out for coffee and food and I'm excited <laughs> the spot where our microwave goes. I'm just hoping that we have the plate, beautiful. It'd be very convenient if someone else was home right now, if I'm honest. That's better. <laughs> Look, that is pretty spot on. Are you kidding, girl? I do say so myself. I'm gonna pack up the absolute mess that I've made in this kitchen and then I need to shower and then I think I'm gonna sit in front of my computer for a couple of hours and start editing this vlog. And then I think I'm gonna go see my grandma this afternoon and then I'll go to church tonight and that'll be my Sunday. Hello friends, so it is currently very late at night. What's the time? 10.20 p.m. Ridiculous. But I went to church tonight and then hung out with a bunch of my friends afterwards as well. We all went to Nando's, got some food. I think I left dinner at like nine maybe. I came home, I got dressed, and then I went to the gym to walk on the treadmill to make sure I hit the, my steps for the day. It's really just my fault for not planning and organizing my day a bit better and leaving my steps to the end of the night. My January goal was to hit 11,000 steps every single day. I had three days off in the middle of the month for Rachel's wedding. I'm not wearing an Apple Watch when I walk down the aisle of a wedding. But every other day of January, I hit 11,000 steps and I'm really proud of myself. And today is the 31st, so I literally had to. Like, I couldn't end the month by not hitting my goal. 
we went, we got sweaty, we got it done. And then now, as I said, it is 10.30 and I just got home. I'm gonna shower and jump straight into bed, but it's Sunday night, so that brings us to the end of this vlog. Again, I'm so sorry, it was such a mess. I've been all over the place emotionally for the past two weeks and I think there's lots of factors that are contributing to how I'm feeling, but we're getting through. I feel like I'm on the lighter end of it and I feel like it's like coming to an end, which is really nice. Sometimes this is just how life works, it's how the cookie crumbles, but I'm really proud of myself for still showing up every single day and hitting my goals and just trying my best because really that's all that I can ask for myself. But I'm gonna go to bed. I hope you enjoyed this vlog even though it was a complete and utter mess. If you enjoyed this vlog or just want to, feel free to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I will catch you in my next video in the very near future. Bye!